Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your lower body bar inspired workout. What you're going to need today is a chair. Now, if you don't have a chair, uh, use a kitchen countertop or you can use a wall to help stabilize. I would definitely prefer a nice sturdy chair though. So if you have one, go ahead and grab that. We will also need a set of dumbbells. Now, there's no upper body today, all right? So any upper body is gonna be secondary. It's all gonna be about that lower body. You're gonna be working your core as well because whenever we have to stabilize those hips, you are working your core. All right, so you may wanna go a little bit heavier today. I'm recommending anywhere from three pounds and heavier. Your option or modification will be to lighten the load to body weight only. This will be challenging with body weight only if that's all you got. All right, so I have a mat, I'm doing this barefoot and the ground is very cold, so but you don't need a mat. We will not be coming to the ground today. Uh, so if you want one, grab one, but it's not mandatory. Grab something to hydrate with as well. All right, so two things, maybe, maybe more. All right, so I'm gonna try to mirror you today. If you find that I am saying the other side, if I get it wrong, I apologize. Do as I do, not as I say, maybe. Um, also, the music today, I am listening to a Spotify playlist right now. It's at 130 beats per minute. So if you wanna put me on silent, put me on silent and bump your own music at about 130 BPMs. I'm gonna be dubbing some music over what I'm listening to. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be fun. So once we get going, instead of counting reps, because I do something about me, I have a hard time counting when my legs are shaking and are on and then it's on fire. So everything today is gonna be timed once we, besides the warm up, once we transition and we start moving, it's gonna be right around 60 seconds uh, and there's gonna be a timer up here. So you can just look at that timer and then I'll play a little ding and then we'll transition into something else. This one's gonna burn, take breaks when and if needed. I will have some longer breaks after the body weight section and after the unilateral section of one side with the dumbbells, all right? So grab all your stuff and let's get going. All right, so let's get warm. Big wide stance, external rotation of the hips, heels and toes out. Take a big deep inhale as we travel down, drive the knees out. And as you drive through the heels, bring it up, reach it tall. Good, inhale down, exhale to lift. Nice and slow, inhale down, exhale lift. Last time, slow, inhale down, exhale to lift. Now tempo, go down and lift, down and lift. Last four, and three, we hold and pulse, two, Hold it down, little pulses for eight and six. You hold, four, three, two, now hold. Take it to the right. So we're doing some internal rotations of the hips. Pivot on the foot and then draw it out other side. Let's go. It's twist and turn. Inhale, exhale. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, and three, we hold center. Last two, last one, hold center, pulse it down. We have eight, six, four, three, Full range of motion, take it down, lift up. Eight more like this, it's eight. Six and then we hold and pulse. Last four, three, two, Last one, now hold it down, little pulses. Eight, seven, and six, we hold. Four, three, two, now hold. Heels go up, heels go down. Whew. 
Eight more like this. It's eight, seven, six, five, and four. We hold it up and pulse. Three, two, hold it up. Now pulse it down. Heels are lifted. Fight through the spurn. We have eight, six, four, three, two. Heels go down, internal rotation of the hips. Eight more like this, it's eight, seven, six, five more. Last four, three, two. Now we hold and we lunge it. Down, step in, down, step in. 60 seconds here. Halfway point, 30 seconds, and we're gonna amp it up a notch. This is gonna be fun. We're past the warm up. We're getting into some good stuff. In five seconds, we advance. Knee goes to the chest. In three, two, one. Bring it in. Way through. Ten seconds, and then we're adding some power. We're going to explode off this right side in three, two, one. Bring it in and back. Bring it in, back. A little bounce. A little hop. It is burning less than 15 seconds. And five we hold. Last two, last one. Pulse it down, 60 seconds. We're gonna bring that heel up in four, three, two, heel goes up, keep pulsing, 30 seconds. My leg is shaking, 15. Last eight. 
four, three, two, heel goes down, internal rotations. Let's go. Ooh, this time, no squat. Just internal rotation of that hip. Notice one side is burning. <laughs> the other side's feeling good. Don't worry, we're gonna even it out. Last four, three, two. Hold it here, just take it down and in. Halfway through, 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds, and then we're going to drive that knee towards the chest. That's really going to fire up the lower abdominals as well as that standing leg. Here we go. Add the knee. Fifteen seconds, and then we're going to explode. We're going to try to find space underneath that standing foot. If needed, take it to a calf raise instead. Last one. Now we explode. My leg is shaking. 30 seconds, y'all. That's it. Pulse down. Ooh, catch that breath. This is where we're gonna start to shake. 20 seconds, and that heel's going up. Here's our last four, three, two, keep pulse, and heel goes up. Fifteen seconds, and then we go back to those internal rotations. This is burning. Fight through it. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Heel goes down. Rotate side to side. No squat yet. Catch that breath. Last 
Last five, four, three, two, last one, hold center. Go down and up, down and up. We have eight, seven, six, then we're going to add a combo. Last three, two, we hold it in pulse. Last one, full range of motion, hold it down, little pulses. All right, coming up next, one sumo squat, calf raise, heels go down, and then we lift. Woo. We'll go ahead and start in five, four, three, two, one. It's up, lower down, heels up, heels down. Rise up, go down, heels up, heels down. You got it, up, lower, heels, lower. Squeeze those calf muscles, ooh. Last eight, seven, six, five, we have four, three, two more. Last one, calf raise only, up and down, hold that squat. Eight more, we have eight, seven, whoo, six, five, and then we hold in balls. Last four, three, two, hold it up. Now just pulse it down. Legs are shaking. We have eight, seven, six, and an ISO hold, four, three, Two, now we hold it low. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. I am shaking. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five. Then we stretch. Four, three, two. Heels go down. Inhale up. Oh. Exhale, hinge from the hips. Nice work. Let that head hang nice and heavy. Oh, nice work. <laughs> I am delirious. Inhale, sway over to your left side. Hold here. Nice little stretch on the back of that right, excuse me, left leg. See, I'm trying to mirror you. Trying is the key word. We're trying together. All right. Inhale, sway it over to the other side. Exhale, release. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, let that head hang a little bit deeper. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, let that head hang heavy one more time. Slight bend in the knees, root to rise, reverse one, dive it up. And exhale, y'all grab that drink of water, grab your dumbbells, and we are about to go ham. All right, meet me back on your mat with your two dumbbells, grab that drink. All right, y'all, you have your dumbbells, and if we can still walk, we're gonna keep going. All right, so coming our way after we do a three bilateral movements, we are going to transition into unilateral movements, meaning one side of the body. So make sure you're within arm's reach of your chair or whatever you have to help stabilize those hips. And once we get into those unilateral movements, make sure, meaning one side of the body, make sure your hip doesn't do that. All right, so the standing leg will be on fire. It is supporting us. Now the, the moving leg is doing some work too, but what we wanna make sure is that hip doesn't do this. So we wanna keep your core tight and keep the hip locked in. If you're doing a lot of this, it'll probably cause pain in the long run. That's why we're using a bar or chair to help stabilize. It will make it more attainable. 
All right, enough of me talking, let's get to work. Heels and toes out, wide stance. We're going into sumo squat pulses, yay. All right, so now we're gonna add some resistance. Place those dumbbells right to the outsides of your quads, almost directly on your quads, but a little towards the outer, outer thigh portion. All right, so go ahead, take it down, and let's just start to pulse it down. This time, we're not gonna bring the arms up and down. We're gonna leave the dumbbells on the legs just to provide us with a little bit more resistance. So make sure we are heavy in your heels and these aren't doing that, they're driving back. This is gonna work your inner thighs, but it's also gonna really hit those glutes and hamstrings. Three pulses, then we lift. It's three, two, one, drive through the heels. Three, two, one, drive it up. We're halfway through. Fifteen seconds, and then we're going directly in to that sumo squat with calf raise. We're just gonna add the calf raise at the bottom, and then drive it up, just like what we did previously. Here we go. It's down, heels up, heels down, and lift. Down, heels up, heels down, and lift. Ten seconds, and then we're gonna hold those heels up. Iso squat, calf pulses. Hold it up now, pulse it down. Three, then we hold. Two, now hold. Ooh! Fifteen seconds. Then we put these weights down. We go to a sumo squat to leg lift, shift into the bar or chair. Put those weights down, let's go. It's down and lift, down and lift. Keep upright. Fifteen seconds, and then we hold that leg lift. Last four, three, two, hold the leg lift. Down and up. Adjust this foot as needed. I'm gonna walk it a little closer. Smaller range of motion, stay upright. So we're not leaning into the bar. I find that we can get better activation 
A with our core, this is, this is way harder because we're stabilizing those hips, but also to the outer glute. Squeeze the outer glute. Soft standing knee. This hip is staying still. Don't let it do that. 30 seconds. We got this. Five seconds and then we pulse for three, lower on one, hold it up, we pulse for three, two, one, and lower. Three, two, one, and lower. seconds and we hold the pulse. Keep that core tight. Last rep. Now just hold that pulse. Hold the pulse, 30 seconds. Literally crying, 15 seconds. Last four. And one, we have got to stretch. Nice work to go ahead, sh just shake it out. Plant the right foot or your left foot down, whatever this leg is, cross this leg. Figure four stretch is what I'm trying to say. Whew. Little stretch before we really get into that glute. Big deep inhale, exhale, drive that knee back. Bring it on up, take a quarter turn in towards your chair. All right. So the leg that was moving is still gonna be the same leg that's moving. And then go ahead and walk farther away from your chair until you can make a 90 degree position with the body. Now, if this is too much, if you start to hyperextend at the lumbar spine, you will feel it in your back. We do not wanna feel this in your back. We wanna minimize any action. So again, don't let the belly dip down, keep it neutral. And if you find that that's just impossible, Option modification, stand straight up, reduce the range of motion, all right? We do not wanna feel this in the low back, reduce the range of motion. If that happens, make sure this stays neutral. Feeling it in your low back? Probably not, all right. Enough of me talking, we're gonna to get to work. All right, so the same leg that was moving is going to continue to move. Again, soft knee on the leg that's standing, point the toes square off the hips. Big deep inhale as we exhale, lift it up. Squeeze that glute. Now make sure your hips are level to the ground below and then tap it down. Let's go. It's up and tap, up and tap. Halfway through, 30 seconds. We have 15 seconds here, and then we're gonna take it at a diagonal. So we're gonna cross it behind the standing leg, tap the outside of the mat, or the ground, the outer mat, and then lift. So diagonal crosses, let's go. It's cross and lift, cross and lift.
Last three, then we hold that pulse. Two. Now hold it up, little pulses. Square off that hip and pulse it out. Last five seconds, four, three, two, one. Nice work, walk it in, quarter turn to me. Outside leg, take it out, lateral lunge in, three, two, one. It's out and in. Press off. Last four, then that knee comes in. Two, drive the knee in. Lunge, knee in. Final 30 seconds. You and me, everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our great, but sorry, there's a light inside of us. It shows the way. In 10 seconds, we end with side repeaters. Bring those arms up. Reduce the lunge repeaters, just out and in. Twist through those abs. After this, we get a break. Final 10. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Oh, great job. All right, go ahead. Take one foot forward. For me, it's my right. For you, it's probably your left. Big deep inhale. As we exhale, go ahead and hinge. We'll hit both sides. So we'll feel a nice stretch on the back of that leg. Inhale, bring it up. Let's go ahead and hit that other side as well. Inhale, exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, bring it up. Go ahead, take one heel in towards the glutes. Pull it long. Feel a nice stretch along the quad and we'll hit the other side as well. Big deep inhale, exhale, switch sides. Nice work. Go ahead, grab that drink of water, and you may want to switch to your chair just so you can see me and we're not staring, you're not staring at my butt. I know I'm going to move mine. Grab that drink and meet me back. We got to do the other side. 
All right, y'all, let's even it out on the other side. First, bilateral sumo squats with that pulse three to a one. Make sure you're pretty close to your chair, your kitchen counter, whatever you got. We're leaving the dumbbells on the legs. Now you can do this body weight only, especially if your legs are looking like mine, which are wobbly and shaky. All right, but we're gonna push through. So bring the weights right here, big deep inhale. Exhale, bring it down. Now we pulse for three, lift on one and three. Two, one, pulse down. And lift. Y'all, we have about 15 seconds, and then we're gonna add that calf raise to the mix. Now add the calf raise down, a lift, down, drive through the heels. Heels up, heels down, bring it up again. seconds and then those heels will stay up we'll pulse it out last rep hold bottom heels up pulse down 30 seconds here then we're gonna hold and you're gonna hate me Ten seconds, and we're gonna hold and get rid of these dumbbells when we hold. Last three, two, one, hold it. Heels are lifted, 30 second hold. Get low. One inch lower. seconds and we go to sumo squat leg lift last three two one heels down and lift adjust your feet as needed upright If anything, lean in towards that leg that's kicking. Get a little oblique work. Ten seconds, and then it's just like lifts. Last one, hold the leg lift up and down. The standing knee is soft, small range of motion. The outer thigh is working. Don't let that hip, this hip, sway off. Keep it tight. Halfway through, 30 seconds.
15 seconds and then three pulses to one lift. Last four, three, two, hold it up, and pulse it. Very three, two, one, lower four, three, two, one, lower four, three, two, one, lower four. Standing leg is on fire, don't let that hip sway. Now we hold impulse, 30 second burnout, hold it strong, come on. It's burning, fight through it, standing legs on fire. Final 15. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Oh my goodness, sorry. Ooh, go ahead. Cross the outside foot over. Big deep inhale up and over. Little side body stretch. Big deep inhale. Let's go ahead, turn in towards the bar until we're not facing one another. And let's go ahead, hit that other side. Big deep inhale as we exhale, go ahead, face the bar. So again, we're about to walk it away, but an option or modification will be to do the same thing we're doing, just in a nice upright position. And you may like that way better. So try them both out, do whatever you like better. Uh, I like this way sometimes, and I do it the other way sometimes. Slightly different activation. You may find that the standing leg does a little bit more work when we're hinged like that. So if you don't like it, if your hip starts this way, Try the upright version, all right? All right, now we have to do the other side. Go ahead, walk it on out. Make sure that standing leg, that hip doesn't sway off to the side. We're gonna go straight up, straight down. So go ahead, bring it all the way up. Make sure that hip is square so we're not here. We're here and then we lift, all right? So keep that low back nice and neutral. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's work. Halfway through, thirty seconds. Just watch me. Final ten. In five, we cross and lift. Last two, last one, now diagonal, up and over. Again, this is gonna be a little bit more challenging on your core, don't let that hip sway off.
Last five, four, three, two. Hold it up, little pulses. Square off that hip, little pulses up. Flying over streets and our broken hearts. But they can even touch us. We found a different beat. Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead. Keep that hip down. Final 15. Little lifts. Last five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring it in. Whoo, shake it out. We're going to get right into it. Quarter turn to me. Lateral lunge. Bring it in and out. It's lunge. Then use the core and drive through that heel to bring it up to center in three, two, 60 seconds. through the heel, tap the toe. Fifteen seconds, and then that knee goes to the chest. Last one, knee to chest. We have 15 seconds and then we're going to those repeaters. Last three, two, one, hold center. In and out, in and out, pick up that tempo. Core is tight, engage those abs. 15 seconds, sumo squat. Last three, two, and one, sumo squat. Inhale, exhale. Catch that breath, we're not done yet, but we're almost done. Thirty seconds and we pulse for three, lift on one. Pulse for three, lift on four, I mean. Delirious. Don't hold it against me. Last full rep. Now pulse it down. It's three, two, one, lift four.
in 15 seconds. Straight up, straight down, normal tempo, but we're gonna add a calf raise. Last rep like this, three, two, one, normal tempo with that calf raise lift. Squeeze the calves. Good. Ten seconds, three pulses to one jump, land soft. Last full range of motion, hold it down for three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, and lift. Three, two, one, and lift. Three, two, one, and lift. Three, two, one, explode. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Last rep, then we hold and we pulse. <laughs> hold and pulse. This is it. Keep the chest lifted. My legs are burning. Let's see if we can get lower. Five seconds and those heels come up. Three, two, one, lift and pulse. Final 30 seconds. Final 15, we got this, keep pulsing. Last five. Four, three, two, heels go down, inhale, lift, and exhale. Let's not just fall to the floor. Let's stretch it out. Oh, turn in towards your chair. Figure four stretch, let's do that again. Outside of the heel goes over the quad and just hinge. Oh my goodness. If you're wondering, I'm cursing my own name. Mm -mm. No. Oh my goodness. All right. That was good. Okay. Inhale, bring it up. And exhale, walk away from your chair. Inhale, lift the arms up. And as we exhale, hinge forward. Once we get about halfway, let that head hang nice and heavy. Oh, yes, is a nose with the head. Bend the knee so much so until you can take the fingertips to the mat. Step the right leg back, release right knee, right top of foot. And let's come into that runner's lunge. Right arm reaches up and over towards that bent knee, whatever side you are at. I did an awful job at mirroring you today. I apologize. <laughs> Inhale, bring it back. And exhale, let's hit that other side. Ooh. Inhale to center, go ahead, take a quarter turn towards me. Bring the soles of the feet together and let those knees just sway to the mat. Inhale, long spine. And exhale, pull your chest towards your feet. 
Feel a nice stretch along the inner thighs and maybe even into that low back. Inhale up to center, extend one leg long. Inhale the opposite arm up and over. Dorsiflex at that ankle. Inhale, draw that shoulder blade back and exhale, bend a little deeper. Inhale up to center, let's hit that other side. Oh, dorsiflex at that ankle. Inhale, reach up and over. Exhale, melt. Inhale, draw that shoulder blade back and exhale, bend a little deeper. Inhale up to center, y'all. Nice work today. Do whatever other stretches your body is craving. That was super challenging. Let me know how you did in the comments below. My name is Laurie and have a wonderful rest of your day.